video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my experience regarding the Morphe and the Jaclyn Hill Bolt Palettes, which are these ones over here. As you might have guessed already, I've used the Bling Boss today on my eyes. Okay, so now that the face is on, I'm really, really, really loving the results. So, so far for the face brushes, it's definitely a hit for me. But to be honest, when I placed this order, I wasn't at all preoccupied when it comes to the brushes because I have more of the brushes and I love them. I've seen reviews on the brushes and they were mostly positive. The only thing I was worried about was the vault. It's the moment of truth and let's see. Uh oh, <laughs> I already tore the box. In the box it has nice packaging, like a dedication to us, I think, like to the buyers from Jacqueline this is the vault and you guys be careful because I opened them like this and they were gonna fall so be careful whenever you take them out of the bubble wrap so you have four palettes Pink Boss, String the Alarm, I'm Done Gorgeous and Dark Magic I, I fell in love with the shades whenever I saw the launch I was obsessed all the shades seemed like very wearable yet still they had some something to them like that made them unique which I was really all about. I either sell for $15 a pellet or else for the whole vault. I included on screen because I forgot. But So I think if they perform good, it's a very good deal for the whole collection. A bit of Morphe pellets in my collection and I love them all. I never give me any troubles whatsoever. They're some of my favorite and I think that they have great formula, great pigmentation, they're long lasting, they're easy to use, very blendable and also they're a good value for money because you have a big palette for, I don't know, $25, whatever. And however, since there was a whole lot of controversy when it comes to the vault, I asked you guys on Instagram, on the polls, which palette you would want me to see me use first and I'm gonna let you guys know in a second because the poll is still going on. So we're gonna use the palette that has more votes. But basically just to show you guys, dark magic palette. So it comes in a mirror, which I think it's really nice, especially if you're traveling or like me, you do videos. I mean, a nice mirror, it's nice in a palette. It also comes with a plastic protecting film. And I really love the fact that all the shades have the name on top of the palette they're, they're printed at the back because i don't think it's practical at all i always mess up the names when they're like that so each palette comes with 10 shades so you get 10 shades for 15 dollars which is nice the pens i mean they're like normal pen size the size of a makeup geek um pen i feel don't quote me on that very similar let's see now that we're at it so these are all makeup geek shadows these are morphe shadows I honestly feel they're the same size, but I'm not sure, so I'm not sure. It's the Dark Magic palette, and I think it's really nice. We have the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which this, I mean, this palette, you guys, is everything. I mean, how gorgeous are the colors? Such a nice, nice palette. I love the color scheme so much. I gravitate a lot towards warm tone shadows. And then we have Ring the Alarm, which I mean, of course, another favorite of mine. And the last palette that we have is Bling Boss, which is so, so pretty. An array of purpley and plum shades. And all palettes have a mixture of shimmery and matte shades. So wish me luck, you guys, because I've seen so much on the web when it comes to these shadows Don't about these. They look really, really nice, so wish me luck because I spend my coin and I want them to perform well. Morphe, Jacqueline, I hope I don't end up disappointed. I'm gonna swatch the Blink Blink palette and a little bit of a disclaimer before I start. I've seen a lot of videos when it comes to these palettes. Everyone has their point of view. Everyone has their way of doing things and applying makeup so that can be um, projected onto the review. Having said that, the other day I swatched one of my favorite palettes which is the Too Faced Peachy Matte. Guys, the formula is so dry, it doesn't swatch well, shadows when swatched are kind of chalky, however it is one of my most favorite and used palettes because it applies so well on the eyes. So. Technically, I mean, I'm not gonna judge the palettes by the swatches, but by how they perform on the eye. So I'm gonna give them a fair shot. Watching some other palettes that I have in my collection was a real opener because I was like, let me swatch some of the palettes that I have. And I grabbed this one and the swatches were not as nice. 
but it's one of my absolute favorites it never lets me down it blends like a dream on the eyes color pigmentation is really really there so it's something that you have to keep in mind that there's difference between swatches and how the shadows perform in the eye so I'm gonna start with a positive mind I'm gonna start with an open mind and see how it goes so wish me luck you guys said that the other Morphe shadows and makeup peak shadows for example the swatches are absolutely gorgeous they are very very creamy and they are very pigmented even like with finger swatches so I feel that I need to say everything I can to give you guys a very very you know deep review okay. so the way that we're gonna do this video you guys i'm gonna use and swatch just the palette that i'm gonna be featuring in this video of course it would be too long so i will be featuring all the other palettes in a separate tutorial so if you want to know if the palettes are consistent between one palette to another how the shades perform if they're blendable if they're patchy if they're worth the money if they're not just make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because i think it works better that way Fall that i've put on instagram bling boss is the winner I'm gonna try and use as much colors as I can from the palette but first we're gonna swatch them and just in case you're wondering all my palettes have V2 on them there were rumors that V2 means Vault 2 or version 2 Jacqueline said that it doesn't matter like it, it's not like that so I'm gonna dig in because I can't wait so I'm gonna swatch Bling Boss mm. so I don't know it feels similar to the Jacqueline Hill palette hush hush she's really really smooth I have gem which is also really nice but we have to see on, you know, on my arms whoa okay honey you guys so far amazing so far amazing thank you god thank you I'm just watching Hazas and Mystic the Mystic lacks a little bit in pigmentation just watching Sparks and glitz and glam also rockstar sparks lacks a little bit in pigmentation as well glitz and glam is really nice and we have rockstar which rockstar is really really nice as well then we have ballsy and a berry treasure which is such a unique color well, these are beautiful so the only colors that I feel are a little bit lacking in this palette when it comes to pigmentation when it comes to finger swatching are Mystic and Sparks can't wait to put this on my eyes okay so I'm going in by using Hush Hush first and I'm going in with the JH30 so far so good it's a nice cool tone shade in my opinion like very lilac -y, very mauve I feel that with these colors you have to work your way around them and slowly building them up instead of going in with a very heavy hand I don't think that would work nice this brush feels so soft now probably it would make a difference if the brush is not brand new it would pick up more product I don't know this color going in with JH35 this is a clean brush and I'm just gonna blend it away with the shade Mystic which is one of the shades I told you guys about not being like really really wow on the like finger swatches going in one step at a time picking up some color tapping the excess and then blend gently I don't want to go in as I said with a whole lot of color at one go when it comes to blendability they are nice and very very easy to blend so the palette I'm noticing for example in this palette the blend boss you don't have like a light shade to put on the brow bone area so you would have to go in using another palette so either you do that or if you have the whole vault collection you can use of course shades from all the palettes to combine the perfect look are so good like i don't have any problems this area can be a little bit not muddy but a little bit iffy so we're gonna see about that i'm just gonna go in with the shade rockstar now using the jh34 from the finger swatches i've noticed that the shimmery shades are really really nice on the finger swatches that's what i can tell so far they're very creamy and give that foil effect however i've seen reviews that they weren't foiled at all so we'll have to see about that i'm going in with the brush jh30 
and smooth everything out but so far loving it thank god now i'm going in with the shade sparks and i'm gonna put that in the crease it's like a reddish berry color burgundy not berry burgundy so far so good as well i think i'm gonna do like a is it called a spotlight eye no let's do like the outer part and the inner part dark and then go in with a frosty color from the palette maybe like bling bling i'm gonna layer them on in the middle so what is that called the spotlight eye I'm not sure performs really nicely on the eye as well and i'm really loving these brushes also the eye brushes are really really nice so so far yes i do wholeheartedly recommend the brush set i think they are really really nice brush in particular has like a fluffy feel to it but then it also has like a tapered part which is nice if you want to place the product on a certain part of your eye like for example the crease it's not like a full-on blending brush i feel like this would be great to pack on the color like into the crease because it has like a tapered part like a pointy bit so far the colors i feel that from the finger swatching act when it comes to pigmentation are proving me really well on the eyes using the brushes so love that then i have to go in and clean a little bit with the banana powder fallout at all however i feel that this area right here is a little bit i don't know after we're done it would need a little bit more help especially this area right here because if you're working with purples and you don't clean up after you end up with like tired looking dull looking and it's like you're having dark circles so you need to be careful when working with these colors in with a rock star again and i'm just gonna concentrate on placing this in the inner part and this is why i like this brush because since as i said it has the tapered bit it can let you control where to place the product because if you have a really fluffy brush this won't work when it comes to applying the product like right here you know mystic also just a little bit i'm just gonna pack i'm not gonna blend or buff i'm gonna pack a little bit of sparks grab djh 30 and i'm just gonna blend a little bit so far so good i'm loving it you guys so i have a ton of brushes which i have been used because basically you guys to do this eye look all i've used are these three brushes just these i have all these and use a lot of them <laughs> although it's difficult so i'm gonna go in with jh41 first i'm gonna go in with the actual product itself and then i'm gonna spray it with fix plus to see if there's any difference to it Go in with the shade bling bling it crumbles a little bit in the pen whenever i'm picking it the brush so now i'm gonna spray the brush a little bit and i can see a little bit of difference for sure it's more foil it is more visible more shiny shade glitz and glam on top and with the shade ballsy okay brush jh40 so you can see it's very very tapered and small and detailed and i'm gonna go back in with the shade rockstar to define this part i think this is a great brush to do this actually with the brush JH38 the shade Mystic and I'm gonna tap and then just blend a little bit JH32 just gonna go in a little bit in here just because I don't like whenever a shadow falls from here to this area just like a nice place for dark shadow to accumulate and it makes you look tired and makes the whole look looking messy i'm gonna be using this one which is the jh43 i'm gonna go in with pizzazz first 
Honestly, the brush didn't pick anything at all. Very, very poor pigment it's picking up. I don't know if it's the brush or the shadow. Shadow and fingers swatched. It's nice, but with the brush, it's not picking a lot. Now I'm going in with the shade gem, and this is picking up really nicely. I'm gonna go in with the shade Berry Treasure. This seems really pigmented because I left a mark with my brush. Okay, this is very, very pigmented. Like, can you see? Very pigmented, you guys. It's very, very nice. I'm gonna smoke it out a lot. So I want to give the illusion that my eyes are really nice and big. Again with Rockstar. So smoky! Gives me very, very like Halloween vibes. I don't know, but purple gives me a lot of Halloween vibes. I'm gonna go on with Rockstar and I'm gonna connect the lower lash with the Crease and the outer V. Got all the fallout. This is a nice tip for you guys to clean out any fallout. You just grab a Q tip or cotton bud, whatever, and you just roll it and swipe out. Okay, so now that I have my waterline and my eyeliner and mascara done, I'm just gonna go in and clean the brows a little bit. I'm going to be using this one right here, which is the JH42. Oh, hot here in Malta. This one got a little bit melted. I'm using the BU Magic Eyes. I feel that cleaning out the brow is a must with dark looks. Now that it's done, I'm just going to go in with highlighting the brow, going in with the shade Bling Bling first. And for this, I'm going to be using this brush right here, which is the JH39. It's really nice with this look. However, I do feel the need to go in with something brighter. Let me spray it to see if it's better. Okay, so definitely better when you spray things. Okay, it's coming through. Off camera, it looks really nice. Still going in with champagne pop. Okay, so when you think you're filming, but you're not. Complete look. I have my lashes on. Everything is done. Everything is complete. I have to say that I'm utterly and overly obsessed with the look. Like the whole look. I also sprayed my face with setting spray. So everything is done. This is the complete look. I'm loving, loving, loving the combination between the purple eye and the nude lip. I think it complements really, really well. I love the colors on the eyes, everything basically. So it's time to spill the tea. Oh wait, there is no tea. There is no tea just because I loved everything. I genuinely loved everything. When it comes to I would repurchase the brush set for sure. And also, so far, this palette because it performed well. I brushes you guys to have an amazing choice of brushes to use and honestly I used everything and I still have these three that are new and I didn't use at all just because you have so much to use so much to juggle in between for very very versatile and actually in all honesty I could do this whole eye look probably with three or four brushes I use three to four brushes most of the time. I went on using the other one just because I wanted to use all of the brushes. Since this is a review after all, however, I like I could use this, but basically it would have been the same work that the previous brushes have done. So this is like a squarey top brush which you can use to blend and buff. It's more like a tapered brush, which there is similar. And this is like this one but smaller. So basically you have everything that you need to create any type of eye look. When you get a different color, you can go and use a different brush without having to clean the brush that you've just used. So it's very versatile and it's very nice and I definitely recommend them. I think that the quality is there. And although it's expensive, like 185 euros, you guys, that is not cheap at all when it comes to brushes. But in all honesty, I have a brush, like a bronzing brush in my um, freelance kit, which is like 65 euros. So that alone, I mean, it's already 65 and with these you get a whole ton of brushes. So honestly, 
if I were to suggest this to a friend, I definitely would, and I definitely would purchase it again. And if you use one of the codes that there is running around, I use the code Adopt Love because I've heard it goes to an animal shelter. I hope that is true, but it works, and I used it, and I saved a little. Yeah, I definitely would recommend this brush set. I think if you're a avid brush lover, I have a huge weakness when it comes to makeup brushes, like. I love them so for me it was obvious for obvious reasons to get the master brush collection a number of reasons why I would get that one other than just single brushes because actually it ends up being more expensive passing on to the eyeshadow palette which is like the, the crucial part of the whole video I've used the bling boss palette and I love it you guys as you've seen from the video and from the swatches and stuff there were three shades which were mystic sparks and rockstar which basically were these two and this one up here which when it comes to finger swatching they didn't perform hiccups. They didn't perform really well as the rest of the shadows and like the other Morphe shadows that I have. So, that I have to say, however, when it comes to um, performing on the eyes, they performed well. So when it comes to swatching those three colors, it reminded me a lot of the Too Faced Peach and Matte palette. They swatched very, very similar, a little bit chalky, a little bit dry and not with that whole augmentation going on however on the eyes they did very well they performed very well i think that they were easy to blend on the side of my eye i was seeing a little bit that the colors were getting not muddy mind you not muddy and not patchy since i've seen so many negative reviews of eyeshadows going patchy eyeshadows going muddy eyeshadows not performing that somehow like even as much as you try to push it away at the side like at the back of your head you still kind of get conditioned a little bit and a little bit brave watch sometimes I, I was seeing something like a fault I was like mm, they were right those reviews were right but I kept an open mind I kept on working my way ending and stuff and they did perform it yeah so, so definitely so far I do recommend this palette I love it love it love it I love the colors I love this look so much I vouch for the other palettes because I haven't tried them yet so we'll see in the next video in the comments below if you've bought any of the brushes or the vault collection if you have any regrets how your products perform people say that they're good people say that they're not good depending of course on their experience which is totally understandable so far from my experience i do recommend them to you guys make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload and watch out for the next tutorials using the rest of the palette thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next one bye